Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Lectures. These are MCQs that we are solving. We are trying to know the reason of each and every answer that is written. As soon as I speak out the four options, I give you all time. You pause the video at that time. Please comment with the correct answer that will help you in this case to be ready for any kinds of MCQs. First, we are doing the MCQs which are there in the module and then our own MCQs. So let's do them. We are doing MCQs of job costing and the question for today is something like this. Job costing is similar to batch costing except with the difference that. Okay, bring out the four options. A, job becomes a cost unit. Okay, B, batch becomes a cost unit instead of a job. C, process becomes a cost unit. And D, in this case, is none of the above. Answer is very obvious, but still I would like to be explaining. That is first, what do you mean by batch costing? Suppose you were a fashion designer. Think like this. You were a fashion designer. You got the order from a customer. I want 1000 pieces of this type of a dress. So therefore you design the dress once and then you started to make 1000 pieces of that. 1000 pieces will become one job. Or 1000 pieces, we should better say, will be one batch for you. In that one batch, in that one batch, each of those 1000 units are homogeneous. Homogeneous means they are fully same. So therefore, once we find out cost of that batch, we divide by 1000. That will give me cost of each and every dress. So therefore, one batch becomes your unit. Okay, one unit will be one batch because you are trying to find out cost of that batch. But if you're following job costing, what do you mean by job costing? Job costing means every order that we get is basically one single unit, which is unique. Example, I am say a carpenter and I get the order for making the Almira in a certain manner. Every customer who comes has a different requirement. Every customer. What I follow is going to be called as job costing, whereby we would like to be finding out cost of each and every job that I'm going to be making. In that one job is one unit. In batch costing, it is not like that. Initially, one batch is one unit. But after that, each and every batch consists of many number of units, which we divide to find out cost per unit. But under job costing, one job is one unit. So that is your option number A, I think. Okay, process costing is wherever goods pass through various stages. Each stage is going to be called as one process. Thereby, we would like to be finding out cost of each and every process. Okay, but as a question refers to job costing. So therefore, in this case, answer should be done in reference to the batch. Sorry, the answer should be done in reference to the job. So answer should be A, job becomes a cost unit. That's the correct answer. 